Hello and welcome to Online QG YouTube channel for all your online queries. Now in this video, I'll show you how you can use VChat on your desktop, whether it's a Windows PC, an Apple PC, or a web widget. Now this feature has been blocked for new users because of many reasons, I guess. So my desktop is Windows, so I'm going to start downloading it into my PC so that I can use it, you know, on my PC to, you know, be able to use my webcam on my PC, which is quite so much wider than my phone, especially if I have a large group of people who will be chatting with me on the other person on the other side on WeChat. So this is an app that will allow you to video call someone easily free over the internet. Now, if you use other services like data and all that, you would have to pay for you know, that type of services. But when it's connected to the internet, you might not be charged for it except for the internet bill that you would have to pay in installments in monthly installments or quarterly or you know half the installments or annually whichever installment way that you are doing so you can see that the executable file for installing my WeChat for PC is being downloaded onto my desktop is taking as much time as it requires because my internet speed is as moderate as it gets and it might be much faster on your PC because your internet speed might be better so just make sure that it is you know fully downloaded before you try installing it onto your desktop so you can see that it's so I'm going to run this by clicking on it. Now, not everybody might appear this way, but if it does, click on install anyway. So I'm going to give permission. So WeChat is being installed into my desktop, so I'm going to click on one to, you know, use WeChat. So I have to log in, so you would have to go onto your phone and click on the plus icon and when it does, a drop down menu will appear and then you click on scan and then you scan the QR code and I think you click on next to auto sync messages and then click on login. Now we will automatically start logging you in over here. Once it detects that, it will start transferring any information that you might have on your you know, support group for WeChat. So this is very basic, basic on your desktop. It's not. It's a bit different from your smartphone look, but it's, you know, this functionality is the same. You can start using it. You can start adding friends and all that. And there's also the backup and restore section. And then you can kind of log out from here as well. And you can, you know, change the directory from where you can save 
your files, you can update it from here, and you can, you know, kind of know the shortcuts to using WeChat on your desktop. So this is how basically you can use WeChat on your browser. Like I said, I don't think the WeChat web works, but let me try that for you, see whether it works. So I'm going to click on scan again, which I did earlier to link my desktop app to my smartphone app. For account security, newly registered WeChat apps are unable to log in to WeChat for web to use. So that's what I said would happen. So this is how you can, you know, download the WeChat app for your PC. You can easily download it for Windows or Apple computers. So I'm sure so sorry that the Ubuntu the Linux version is not here yet. So Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on.